Okay, good, good morning. Um, I'm going to start this challenge today. Again, I am taking part of the Diane Gideon challenge uh, that she sent us as a part of a collaboration piece she's doing. So um, in my letter that I went over with you all earlier, it stated that my challenge word was ocean. She included some paints. Again, um, she included this blue kind of a peacock color some instructions to use this liquitex basic and again I I'm going to uh, tell you that it's canadium yellow probably not even saying that right she also wanted some um, iridescent mix into that yellow so we've done all that it also stated I could use two of my own colors and I will tell you that um, I wasn't quite sure what color to go with. I when I got this this yellow out, which is incredibly yellow, um, I was really struggling to figure out what I wanted to do with the beach theme with that. And obviously, uh, you know, sand makes sense. Um, so in part, I went with a kind of a sandy gold color to try to mimic some sort of a sand color. That color is a Waverly product, and I just happened to have this one, but I did get them. Um, from Walmart when I first got started. I actually do like the Waverly products. They do mix really well. Um, so then of course the second color I chose for mine was uh, a really pretty uh, metallic -y ocean blue and that is from Master's Touch. That's the one I used with that one. Um, it's acrylico but I don't actually think it actually has a name so we're going to go with that. So um, this is a small canvas, and if many of you had already seen my very first YouTube video, it was discussing um, micro pour, and that is because I somehow misspoke or misread when I was ordering from Jerry's Art Rama and ordered what I thought was 11 by 16s, but instead I got two by threes that were 11 16 deep. Um, so color me surprised when I got one of those and wasn't quite sure what to do with it. So I actually did kind of a spoof pour using um, a flip cut pour using thimbles uh, just to kind of be silly and ironically because this is not much larger than that I have decided to do that here as well. So here I have my three thimbles. I'm going to mix my ocean colors in two of them and my sand color in one of them and I'm going to kind of focus the sand in this area and kind of let the ocean flow in the back. Depending on how this turns out, it may not turn out to be ocean or sand at all. It might turn out to be like a pretty sunset depending on how I can get it to tip and bleed. We will see how that works. So on my first micro pour, somebody asked me what kind of how I treated my um, thimbles and I treat them the same way that I would treat a standard sized cup or a sh shot glass or whatever and I use the WD-40 um, silicone. So when you're using something so small um, I just actually apply it to a paper towel. It makes way more sense. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that and then I just dip that into the thimble and get it all Coat it in there so that that paint will release easily. Um, all the paints that I'm using have only been mixed with Floetrol and um, mixed well, so I'm fairly confident. And what I'm going to do is just layer the colors in there. Again, the yellow, the copper, or the yellow, the gold, and then the three colors that I have. And we're going to see how it comes out. So let's go ahead and layer my yellows. So we're going to start with that. And this just takes more patience than anything, but it's just adding a little bit at a time. And what I don't know, because I haven't experimented much with this type of, this style or size of canvas, is if I may need another pour or two for what I'm using, but I don't think so. I really don't. These actually hold quite a bit of paint. You'd be quite surprised. So again, we're just going to layer these colors in here. And because that yellow is so strikingly bright, I'm going to end with that 
a sandy color and we're going to see what we end up with. I also did not, for reference, use any silicone in these. And then so the other two, I'm going to start with my, my bigger one. I'm going to well, layer the ocean colors in. There's some of the blue she sent me. I think I'll go ahead and add in the, my color choice in between that since it's kind of a little bit of a brighter. And then we'll go with this peacock color, which honestly, I really love this color. I Mine ended up leaking a lot in my box, so I was worried that I wasn't going to have enough of it, but thank goodness for Floatrol. And it's about right now where I'm usually fast forwarding through videos because this paint process, I get so excited to see how it comes out that sometimes I neglect to be patient for this part. So, And I am fairly new at this, so I don't know how to add really cool songs and sounds and overlays, so bear with me. So again, same process through this one. I think I'm just going to layer it a little differently, a little bit in reverse. And if need be, if we come up with a reason that we need more flip, we can basically refill these. I've got more than enough paint um, mixed to be able to do that. That's what's kind of nice is when you run into a situation where you're running out of paint or you only have like a little left over from a project that you did, maybe fits in something similar to those little containers um, like these. If I run into a project where I have some left over and I don't want to get rid of it, I will often save those. And then this is where these kind of these little flip cups are kind of fun. If you need a dash of color somewhere, they're kind of cool. Okay, so as you can see, that one's nice and full. So is this one. Um, of course, when you do micro pours, you use micro things. So um, I would just normally use here a just grab one here. I would normally use a toothpick, but I don't seem to have one, so I'm just going to use a good old bobby pin. We're just going to give them a quick swirl. See how that goes. And then we're going to just go ahead and do what we do, and that's we're going to flip them. So again, this is the yellow. Um, I did go ahead and do the sides and stuff white, just so that it would flow a little bit better, so Here's where it gets a little bit tricky. So we're just going to flip that over there on that corner like we talked about. My silver one, we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. So as you can see, micro cup pour. So we're going to just kind of let it bleed out. Now normally... I would say you could go through a puncture, obviously, with a pin to let the paint release. But because um, they're a little thicker plastic than what we're used to, and of course this one that's not going to happen with. I've not had any problems when I've treated my cups, so it's usually not that big of a deal. So I'm actually going to start with my blues and see what we come out with first. So we're going to get all that out. So you can see it kind of holds some paint, so we'll just kind of let the rest of it fall out. But pretty good, pretty good. Comes out pretty decent. So we'll set that on the side. And then we'll let this one come out. So again, that treatment <clears throat> does help. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, so now here we got this gold color and that bright yellow. So let's see what we end up with. I have to tell you that this is the scariest part for me. I really just didn't know what I was going to do with this yellow. I It's so bright and um, just wasn't quite sure how I'd like it. So looks like we got it flipped so we're going to just do what we normally do. We're going to go ahead and tip it and I'm going to really work on trying to get these blues to work together and make the most of them.
much as I'm not hugely a fan of that yellow, I'm going to try not to lose it completely. I'm not terribly unhappy with that. I'm going to grab my knife here. And we're going to try to get it around a little bit more. I did not, again, use silicone on this, so I'm just going to kind of put these sides here. Try to substitute some of the paint that has rolled off to fill in. That's what I love about these knives. They just pick up so well without really messing with the color, so that's nice. Now with that, we'll just continue to make this paint move around and see what other Trying to stretch that yellow out so that I it's definitely represented. Really like what's happening here. I always tend to like everything that comes out down on the, the tray when it comes out. I always have liked how that looks. So I'm trying to stick with this ocean theme by getting these sides done too. Just utilizing that, so trying to get that up on the sides there and utilize that paint. Try and throw some of that up on there too. Mix it a little, why not? Wipe this off here, and I'm going to try to get some of this yellow gold picked up here. That we get that off this corner. I had to say, I'm a bit nervous. This is my actual first challenge that I've ever been asked to help or participate with. I was kind of leery to accept just because I've never done one before so I didn't know if I was even qualified so hopefully I do okay <laughs> and I meet Diane's expectations or at least kind of the vision she was going for but without other much manipulation with that I'm, I'm fairly happy with how it came out it is all covered I definitely think that we encompass the ocean a very turbulent ocean in there and um, 
maybe captured a little bit of uh, a seascape there. I may go through right here um, and add some more of that yellow in another flip cup, um, but I'd really like to kind of leave it the way it is. So at this point, I'm hoping that this is sufficient and was what Diane was looking for. Again, it's usually all the design elements she asked me to. It does have a beautiful shine to that ocean color. I, I really think she will like it. At least I hope so. So, all right. I'll be letting this dry and getting all cleaned up. And Thank you. Bye.